Right now, um, I've temporarily got the 16 mil drill bit in the chuck. This is just so that I can line it up uh, with the block so I can work out exactly where I want to drill my hole. I want to leave a reasonable amount of meat on the uh, on the far edge there. And you know, once I'm, once I'm happy with um, the location, let's have a look. Yes, I think that looks about right. That's probably plenty. Then we can, uh, uh, then I will simply remove, um, I shall simply remove this and swap it out for a centre drill. Right, well I've swapped out the 16mm drill bit here for a centre drill. Um, this is clamped firmly to the tool, to the compound side, and the carriage is locked, so let's centre drill it. I'm going to go in fairly deep with the centre because we are going to use a very big drill on it, so makes sense. Right, that's the centre done. Okay, right, well I have it in the end decided to drill a pilot hole. Um, 16 mil is pretty big to be going straight in with, so this is a 6.35, I think, drill. So we're going to drill a pilot hole. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that first. Um, and that should go through the aluminium fairly easily. problem with that at all. Uh, I won't film all of this because it's, it's going to take a few minutes to do this. But, um, so that's the pilot hole going in there. Okay the 6.35 mil hole is through. Now I've gone up to 13. Uh, obviously uh, slowed the speed of the lathe down a little bit for that. So we're not going to go in with a 13. It will probably be fairly noisy. That's not too bad. So I'll go all the way through with this, and then we'll go up. To, then we'll go up to the 16. Okay, 13 mils all the way through. So it's now time for the final cut with the 16 mil. And this will probably be quite loud. We'll come back to it when it's done. Okay, there we go. We've got our uh, 16 mil hole all the way through at the right height, and the uh, um, cutters fit nicely into there like that. And I will drill a couple of holes and tap them six mil as for you to use a set of screws to hold this rigidly in place. So that's the 16 mil ones done. Okay, so we've got the block turned around through 90 degrees and clamped firmly in place. Centre's back in again. I've located where I want the 12 mil hole. So now we'll drill that. Uh, we can wind the uh, lathe speed up for this, obviously, because it's much, much smaller, the centre. And again, I'm going to go in fairly deep with the centre because it's a, ultimately the hole's going to be 12 mil. So, you know, that's considerably bigger than the centre taper, so... Oh, 
Right, so that's the centre done. For the 12 mil hole. Now, there will be a slight pause between this one and the next video due to the fact that I don't have a 12 mil drill at the moment. I'm waiting for it to come from uh, from eBay. But uh, I will drill it out 6.5 like I did the other one as, as an intermediate measure. Okay, this is the... Uh, 6.35 mil drill, the first one I'm going to use to drill uh, the first pilot hole for the 12 mil hole for the other cutters. I've measured the um, longest one of my cutters is this one. And I've measured it how deep it is to the shoulder. And then I've used a little bit of masking tape on the drill here to give me the depth. So I need, I need, I I know I need to go in that far. So uh, off we go. At some point it should break through into the first hole, the 16mm one that we did. And there we go. Anyway, I'm not going to show you this whole thing. It's going to take a few minutes to do this and then we'll have to wait for the 12mm drill to turn up and uh, we can get the hole finished. Okay, one thing we can do while uh, I'm waiting for the 12 mil drill bit to arrive is we can mark the um, center lines for drilling the set screws. Now, we know that this hole is 16 mil. I've measured that with the uh, vernier and that's 7.12 mil. So it's basically 7.12 mil plus eight mil, which I've set the height gauge to, and that will give us the center line for that hole. So that's a simple matter of doing this. And we now have the center line for that hole. Um, and I'll um, do the same thing for this hole here. And then we'll have another center line there. So one of the set screws will be on the uh, where these two lines cross. So I can use one set screw for both of the cutters, whichever one is fitted. And then there'll be another set screw there and another one about there. So, uh, so that's something I can get on and do while we're waiting for the 12 mil drill to come. Okay, well, I've drilled and tapped some set screw holes in this block uh, and although we can't mount the 12 mil cutters we can mount the 16 mil cutter so I've got one of the 16 mil cutters mounted in the block blocked on the tool post so I thought you might like to see it in action so we'll uh, close in a little bit on that so you can see what's going on that's probably close enough right let's wind this up Just to show you an example of what you can use these cutters for and, and uh, you know just how useful they are. Okay, I think that'll do. And there you go, it's cut a really, really nice radius on there. Uh, it's, uh, so it's ideal for um, uh, brass work and stuff like that. It really is. It's, um, and of course, I mean, that's just one use for it. There are a lot of others. Well, <clears throat> the uh, 12 mil drill finally arrived. So I was actually able to do the uh, final uh, drill there. And this is the finished article. Uh, 
As you probably noticed in my previous videos on the Walco uh, WM180 lathe attachments, I'm a uh, great uh, advocate of the KISS school of uh, doing things. I keep it simple, stupid. <clears throat> so um, this is obviously a very basic bit of attachment to make and it's so simple but it's very effective and it works really well and it doesn't cost a lot of money the blocks of aluminium like this aren't, aren't, aren't expensive so um, basically as you've seen from the, the the demonstration that I gave of actually cutting a radius with this the 16 mil one goes in there like that you do your set screws up either end and away you go and then the 12 mil one simply pops in this hole uh, I have put some index marks one there and one there so you can line that up so yeah, it pops in there and then you just do these set of screws up and you're good to go. And it's as simple as that. Um, and it now means that uh, in combination with the uh, cross drilling attachment, I can now use all of those, those radius cutters that I got off of eBay. Um, and, um, and very useful they are too. So, um, so there you go, that's it. That's the uh, radius cutting attachment for the Walco WM180 lathe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, not little, it's been actually quite long. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.